Today I'm sharing with you my top five summer desserts that you are going to want to make over and over again. Now the first recipe I'm going to make is our Reese's brownies. These are so good. I love them. So we're gonna start in a bowl, melted butter, gonna add a little bit of salt, cocoa, vanilla, and go ahead and mix that until it's well combined. Then you're gonna add sugar, a few eggs, mix it again, add some flour, peanut butter, of course, this, this is Reese's. You're gonna put it in a nine by 13 pan and bake it. Now for the frosting, we're going to have butter, cream, cream cheese, cocoa, powdered sugar. Go ahead and mix it all up and put it on top. Add your peanuts, little peanut butter cups, peanut butter chips, and that is it. Next up is our red velvet cake bites, perfect for the 4th of July. You're gonna start by adding a red velvet cake mix, some water, eggs, vegetable oil, and mix that all together. That looks so good. Gonna put it into a pan and bake it, then crunch it all up. We're gonna add cream cheese frosting, mix that together and make it into little balls. These are gonna be the inside. Now, once they're frozen, you're going to dip them in melted white chocolate. And then I melted some red candy melts and drizzled it right on top just to make it extra cute. Now you can serve them just like this or you can make them into cake pops. Next up is our chocolate chip cookie ice cream cake. Now into a bowl, you're going to add your chocolate cake mix, oil, eggs, and water. Go ahead and mix that all together. Now once it's combined, you're going to split it into two and put it into two circle cake pans. Now the next step, you're gonna put wax paper, put it around your cake, add some ice cream, Flatten out that ice cream. You're gonna add some crunched up chocolate chip cookies, add your other cake, and go ahead and freeze that. Then on your stove top, you're gonna add your chocolate chips and butter, mix that till it's well combined, and that, my friends, is going to be your frosting. Now I like to add a few more cookie crumbles and cookies on top of the cake to just make it look perfect. Now this one we eat as a dessert at our house, but some people say it is a side dish. I'll let you choose. This is our 4th of July Jello. You're gonna start by boiling some water. You're gonna add some blue Jello, mix it till it's all dissolved, put it in a pan and chill. Do the same thing with your red Jello. Mix till dissolved and chill. Now once both the red and blue are set up, go ahead and cut them up. You're going to place them into a nine by 13 pan and set it aside. Now in a separate bowl, you're going to add cold water, unflavored gelatin, let that dissolve a little bit. You're gonna add boiling water, mix it really good and add condensed milk. Once it cools down a little bit, you're going to pour it onto your jello, chill that, cut it up, and then you are ready to serve. My kids love this one. Now the last one you can use as a dessert or even a little snack. We love this toffee apple dip. You're gonna start by taking you know, some cut up cream cheese and mixing it up. You're gonna add some vanilla, brown sugar, and milk, then go ahead and mix it again. Now, once that's all mixed up, it's time for my favorite part. We're gonna add in our Heath bits. Now you can buy these at the store already crunched up. Oh, that makes it so good. And I'm telling you, dipping apples in this is the perfect summertime treat. Now, I know this style of filming is a little bit different, but I wanted to show you how easy it truly was to make. All right, guys, if you love this video, please share it with someone. I'll see you next time. Bye.